Hey guys, it's Miss Jill again. Uh, just wanted to come to you again and um, do another lesson for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed your lesson last week. For me, it was a lot of fun, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, make sure you have a lot of space if you can, whether it's indoors or you wanna take it outdoors if you have some nice weather, um, because this week we're gonna start, we're gonna do a little bit more of our running and galloping and skipping and hopping just to get your body moving a little bit. All right guys, so we're gonna get started. Like we normally do in the gym, we have our cones, so maybe you have at home, maybe you have some pillows or maybe some stuffed animals or um, just anything you wanna use that you can go from one place to the other, okay? So we're gonna start with running, okay? We're gonna try to run two times around both cones, okay? So we're gonna get our feet and our arms. Make sure you go all the way around. You can touch it if you want and run all the way down and touch and all the way back, okay? Then the next thing we're gonna try are galloping. So don't forget your arms. You want those wings out really nice, okay? Pick your favorite foot and we're gonna gallop like a horse, okay? So chase your foot all the way down and around, okay? Keep chasing. Some of you guys might wanna try the other foot too. I'm gonna try my other foot. Keep your arms out, nice big wings all the way around and all the way back to where we started. Okay, all right, now we're gonna do some hops. So remember, funny hops, we want those feet together, put some peanut butter in there, glue everything together nice and tight. You can put your hands on your tummy and we're gonna hop around, we're gonna do one time around. So we're gonna hop, okay, feet together, all the way around. This one's a little trickier. And freeze. Okay, now we're gonna try open closed feet okay so now we put our arms out wings out again and we're going to do open close all the way around make sure you go all the way around each color or each object and freeze hey okay, guys now we're going to do our stretches these are fun these are my favorite okay so i want you to start and if you want you can stand on something at home too you can find yourself a paper plate or something if you want yourself to have your little shape like you do in the gym. I want you to stand really, really tall, stretch those arms up to the sky, and then I wanna make yourself really, really small, okay? Make those bumps, touch the floor. One more time, up really, really tall, and down really, really small, okay? Now we're gonna sit down, put those legs out nice and straight. Remember, no bumps, okay? Hands behind your bottom, and we're gonna do our toes. So we're gonna to say, go away, toes. Say, come here, stinky toes. Go away, toes. Come here, toes. Okay, arms up again. Stretch really, really, really tall. Reach down and tickle those toes. See if you can make your nose touch your knees. Miss Jill has trouble with that one. And then back up. Then we're gonna make our feet go apart. Put those arms out. And you guys like this one. It's your favorite song. Our tick, tock, tick, tock. And then we wake everybody up and then we freeze, okay? Then we're gonna make our butterfly, okay? Those wings out, you can do up and down, we can do side to side, and we can make our nose all the way touch our toes. I know you guys can do it. And then back up. And then we're gonna make our knees come together, make those really big bumps, squeeze them really tight, okay? Hold on really tight, don't let go, and we're gonna do a big rock, and try to put your feet back on the floor. One more time rock and feet back on the floor and then one more thing crisscross applesauce so crisscross applesauce hands up we'll make cookies today so roll out your cookies maybe put some frosting on top and lots of sprinkles hey guys okay so the focus of this week's lesson is going to be backward rolls so we're going to show you some progressions on how to do a backward roll safely at home okay the first drill we're going to try for our backward rolls today we're going to sit down we're going to make our bumps okay put your hands out why don't you put some peanut butter on your hands today okay get them nice and sticky and we're going to put them right next to our ears and we're going to try to do a roll back and swish our peanut butter on the floor so we're going to roll back and swish our peanut butter Okay, we're gonna try the same thing, but this time we're gonna add our beanbag or your stuffed animal like you used before um, last week. 
on your forward rolls. So we're gonna sit down, we're gonna make our bumps, I'm gonna take my bean bag, I'm gonna put it under my chin, squeeze it really, really tight, more peanut butter, put those hands right next to your ears and we're gonna roll back and smoosh our peanut butter. Okay, the next one we're gonna try, we're gonna take our bean bag or your stuffed animal and we're gonna try to put it between our knees this time. So make those bumps, squeeze it really tight, peanut butter next to our ears. We're gonna roll, squish. Okay, now we're gonna try two bean bags. So we're gonna try one under our chin and one between our knees when we rock and roll, okay? So we're gonna go chin and knees with our bumps, peanut butter, Hands ready, roll, and up. Okay, after that, if you wanna to try to make your roll a little bit bigger, you're gonna do no bean bags, make your bumps, lots of peanut butter, but this time when you roll, see if you can lift your bottom up a little bit higher and make your nose try to, your knees try to touch your nose, okay? So we'll try it one more time. Peanut butter, knees to my nose. So next step, parents, if it's okay with you, you can take a cushion or maybe two cushions from your couch and stack them on top of each other. We do this in our obstacle courses when we're normally in the gym. So you're gonna sit down on top of your cushion, lie down on your back so your head is just barely hanging over. Okay, make those bumps. Peanut butter, scoop back so those hands touch the ground and we're gonna see if we can lift our knees to our nose and make them go to the floor. Okay, so now we're gonna to try to put everything together. We're gonna to do it on the floor. Make sure it's nice and soft. Make sure you have carpet or a mat or something, okay? So I'm gonna start like I did before with my bumps, okay? Make my peanut butter. Hands, I'm gonna go really fast though. I'm gonna say one, two, three, and then Knees to my nose, and I'm gonna to try to land on my knees on the opposite side. One, two, three, land on my knees. Okay, now if you get really good at it, and you go really fast and get your bottom up really fast, you can try to land on your feet this time. Okay, so this time, maybe put a little peanut butter on those feet, on those hands, make those bumps, and when you count to three, knees to your nose, and bump. 